Need to get your staking taxes done? Today, I'll show you how to do your staking taxes easily and quickly with the help of Coinly. Staking refers to sending your coins to a third party and receiving rewards in return. This third party is commonly called a staking pool. You will still have control over the coin sent into the staking pool, so for the most part, such send slash receives are not taxable. And these are the most common forms of staking. Delegating your tokens to secure the network. Locking governance tokens for voting power. Farming your LP tokens for additional rewards. Note that most LP farming is handled automatically as of February 2024. If you're participating in liquidity pools, be sure to check out our article about liquidity providing, and I will leave that down below. Okay, if you're making a sweet staking gains, then you need to pay taxes. And if you would like a quick and hassle-free way to do your staking taxes, then you're in the right place with Coinly. Coinly is a crypto tax calculator that makes calculating your staking taxes a simple and quick procedure. Simply import your wallet and exchange information and let Coinly do the rest. We have three easy ways to import your information. The first and easiest, some platforms offer a simple single sign-on like Coinbase. Meaning all you have to do is log into Coinly, connect it with your platform and watch the information come in. The second method is by finding your public key for your platform and copying it into Coinly. This is known as the API method. On the rare occurrence where you are not able to import your data using one of these three methods, Coinly gives you the option to import your own CSV files. If you'd like to learn more about how to create these CSVs, I will leave a video in the top right corner and down below. Okay, so you've imported your data using one of the following methods. How do you now do your staking taxes? Here's what makes Coinly so great. For the most part, when you import your transactions, staking data will already be tagged correctly by Coinly. It is advisable that you go to the transactions tab and just double check these transactions are shown and tag correctly. In the rare occurrence where you have to manually tag your own staking transactions, I'll elaborate in more detail how to do that. Whenever you receive a reward, you should tag the deposit transaction as a reward. This way Coinly will be able to summarize all reward transactions in your income report so you can declare it in your tax returns. Staking rewards should be tagged with the reward tag and not remove from pool tag. For most blockchains with native staking and staking on centralized exchanges, Coinly will not import such transactions since these are not taxable. However, in most DeFi related staking, these transactions will get imported as withdrawals. You need to locate these and tag them as add to pool to prevent gains from being realized on them. Similar to the add to pool transactions, Coinly will avoid importing these transactions for most blockchains since they're simply returning your own coins back to you and the transaction is unlikely to be taxable. Similarly, for DeFi transactions involving ERC20, BEP20, etc., these transactions will get imported as deposits. You should find and tag such transactions as remove from pool. After you use the pool tag for the first time, a special wallet is created in Coinly. It will have the same name as your wallet, but a different blue icon. The add to slash remove from pool tags should be used when you set aside your assets, meaning that they are leaving your wallet now, but you will get back the same asset in the same amount in the future. This is why you can only remove from pool as much as you add to pool, not more. If you take out from the pool wallet more than you sent there, you will see a missing purchase history warning. If you see this warning, please check out our guide on how to resolve it. I will leave it down below. For the most part, staking with Coinly is easy and hassle free. However, if you do have questions about auto compounding pools, staking with staking tokens and handling crowd loans, I will leave the FAQ section down below. As always, if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.